In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve this type of error. Locking this dimension will over constrain this cache. So the best approach to resolve this type of error, one, as a practice, you need to always lock your sketch to reference plane rather from uh, sketch to sketch. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me open another family. Now this is a family and this is a sketch that I want to produce and if I want to lock, I want to constrain this side to this side. You know, if I do it like this, I'm not sure of where I am going to lock it to now because there are two things here. On this same line, we have uh, this uh, um, model. And we have the reference plane so if I actually I want to lock it to the reference plane then the best thing I would do is to lose to use a line so the best thing I would if I want to lock I want to lock it or constrain it to reference plane the best thing I would do is use a line tool and pick the reference plane then align it then if i want to align this side instead of picking it from here and if you must pick it from here make sure you are snapping to the reference plane you can press your tab until you snap reference plane you, you see i am now snapping reference plane if i pick my tab again if i press my tab again it will not snap extrusion i press my tab again until i get reference plane before i click so with that it is now snapping to reference plane so i make sure i lock it to reference plane rather than locking it to sketch or extrusion so now that i am done i was i will finish it so that is one of the practice that you need to make sure you always do always uh, lock your dimension to reference plane then there are some times that you need to find your way around it if i pick extrusion for instance and i want to constrain here to here and i want to constrain here to here then there are some times that perhaps after constraining here and in some occasion you want to constrain here it may complain if you get to that point where you have that type of complaint the way you go about it is simply pick your dimension to and fix a dimension take it to zero and you cannot pick the dimension and lock the dimension it will not complain so that is one of the way you can resolve that type of error then another way you can resolve that type of error is to create a separate family if you have a complex family you want to create let me show you an example of what i'm talking about if i open this uh, this door let me show you an elevation okay now this is uh, a door family and here we have a handle we have the locking system so if i want to create all these things in this same folder on the long run i may be having some troubles because you'll be having tons of 
reference plane that are uh, overlapping each other and you will be having at some point you'll be having some problems so the best way to go about this type of thing is to create a separate family so you are going to create a separate family for this handle and create a separate family for this locking system then you now match the two the two or depends on the number of family they are you match them together that way it becomes very easy for you so that is if i select this handle now and i will hit edit you see that it is a family on its own then let me uh, go back let me go back if i go back and i select this one you can see it's a family on its own and since i created them separately and i made them together i don't have uh, too much trouble so that is uh, the way you go about it okay i hope you benefited something from this video if you do i like you to give me feedback i'll be looking forward to seeing your feedback all right thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye